Hello and greeting to all. Yes, we've begun the summer months. What we call summer months, July and August. A time where we take, uh, we take off somewhere. We're gonna, or maybe even we even stay home. But it's a time to recreate ourselves. We change from one schedule to another schedule. And a schedule where that's going to allow us to travel about, to go to a wedding, to go to family gatherings, visit the country, or just be at the lake. Just be at the lake and in Mother Nature as we try to discover or rediscover ourselves in this silence, in the beauty of our nature and on our lakes. It's a time of recreating ourselves so that we can continue to be that instrument of love that God has given us and mission to do. So summer is really a time of opportunities because wherever we're going to go, we're going to meet somebody. We're not going to a desert. We're going to meet somebody. And these strangers are going to become acquaintances. And sometimes these acquaintances change into friendships. Friendships that may last for years. And that we nurture by contacting one another. By being in contact. Texting, FaceTime, Facebook, whatever you want to call it. We want to be in contact with these people. Be it family or friends. Now this contact with one another helps us to take down the barriers that we have of letting people enter into our comfort zone so that we can create that relationship, nurture it and build it. We as baptized are always acting, knowing it or not, in the name of Christ. So as we are intentional disciples, becoming more aware that we are called to be these instruments of relationships, we discover that we are part of God's plan. We are evangelizing. It's not more complicated than that. Bringing Christ and letting that love of one another grow within ourselves. As we recreate ourselves in the nature that surrounds us, in the gardens that we go and weed, in the, in the fields that we perhaps even harvest, we are going to rediscover ourselves and rediscover that gift of love that we have here in our hearts for others. So that is what new evangelization is all about, this intentional discipleship or this missionary discipleship. To go out is to bring something to others. And that's what the summertime offers us. An opportunity to be able to begin a new way, a new outlook on what relationships are all about. You are going to encounter your grandchildren. You're going to encounter some of the members of your family. You're going to be meeting people, sharing time with them, sharing relationships. So we ask that we continue to grow in, in that line. And that's, that's a little bit what it is to be an intensive discipleship. What are we really searching in all that? What do we really want to get out of that? Where does it come from? Actually, it all comes from God. It all comes from God, for God is love. And that God invites us to live these relationships, to nurture these relationships that we will build over the months to come and to continue to nurture those we have built over the years. So we never have to let ourselves be pushed by the Spirit. We have to let ourselves be, be taken by that Spirit and, and venture out into a new, a new man's land, a new person's land, so that we can encounter Christ in that person. And nature is no doubt a, a place where, first of all, we recreate ourselves to be better at the better service of others. So summer is not just a time of relaxing. It is, but at the same time, it's a time of recreation, rebuilding. And this summer, we are very lucky. We are going to have an ordination in our diocese of a young Canadian from North Battleford who is going to be ordained the priest for our diocese. 
who's is going to continue to serve the people of God, talking to, the, to you about what it is to be a Christian in our world of today, where love and forgiveness is of great importance, mercy and service for others. It's a time of reaching out. It's a time of letting others enter into our comfort zone. It's a time of entering into the comfort zone of others and sometimes feeling a little bit Ill, Ill at ease. But that's the beginning of all relationships. And that's the beginning of good friendships as we try to listen, to learn, to love, and to care for one another. So enjoy your summer. Take time to pick a flower. Go on the lake. Look at the waves. Listen to the waves that crash on the rocks wherever you are. Or to the, to the leaves that flicker in the, in the wind. For in there is the voice of God just calling you to love self and others. Have a good summer.